deserve better financial results from your company than you're currently receiving, and if you need access to accurate financial information so that you can exercise real control over your jobs, your company, and your profits, QuickBooks is a powerful, flexible tool that can help you to get where you need to go. Over the years, I've trained, presented seminars to, and personally worked with thousands of company owners and bookkeepers who have, with the right coaching and a desire to learn, been able to achieve remarkable results with their QuickBooks software. This off-the-shelf software can be customized to provide you with the kinds of objective information that you need so that you can gain the financial control and expertise that can immediately impact your bottom line. While there's no wand that any of us can wave to magically revamp an accounting system overnight, if you apply yourself to the task at hand, you'll be able to see results from your QuickBooks accounting software that you never thought would be possible. If you're willing to invest time in targeted training, you'll be amazed to learn exactly how and in how many ways QuickBooks can be harnessed to create a solid management accounting and reporting system. If you have a desire to learn, an open mind, patience, and a calm, logical approach, regardless of your background or current level of expertise, I want to reassure you that you can become an expert in your company's QuickBooks accounting system. And I sincerely believe, and my clients support this belief, that the knowledge you gain along the way will help your company to become more manageable, more profitable, and more rewarding. Welcome to our online training series, QuickBooks Training for Construction, Building Profits with Accurate Job Cost Reports and Critical Management Accounting Data. This is course number 200, Harnessing the Power of Numbers, Designing Your QuickBooks Accounting System Around Critical Construction Industry Management Reporting Needs. I'd like to begin with a very brief overview of some of the areas that we'll cover during this session. We'll actually delve into many more specific topics than you'll see in the overview, but the next few screens should give you a big picture view and a general feel for the subject areas that we'll be exploring. In this segment, we're going to begin with your ending needs in mind. First, what kinds of management reports do you need to see? And what kinds of display are we going to see on the reports that you'll be looking at? We'll then go and look at specific examples of construction reports, including profit and loss, balance sheet, receivables and payables, profit and loss by job, and we'll continue with more specific examples of construction reports. We'll look at development and spec home types of reports, reports for custom homes, for remodeling projects, and handyman jobs. We'll also take a look at some of the issues that surround how to get work in process properly recorded on reports. We'll explore time reports and job cost by job stage and profitability, as well as the report that most people get very excited about seeing is estimated versus actual income and cost by job stage. Then we're going to look at nine ways that you can increase profits using variance reports. Our next segment revolves around the elements that are involved in building a powerful, flexible accounting system. We'll identify the features that drive and create useful management accounting reports and discuss what the importance of structure and design is in an accounting system. Then we're going to pinpoint the top 10 QuickBooks design elements. And we'll finish up this session by actually creating a brand new company file in QuickBooks. We're going to consider why and when we might want to create a new company file. And we'll share screenshots from an actual setup of the company file and you'll see some of the decisions that need to be made as that process occurs. We're going to clarify what kinds of data can and should be transferred from a prior company into your new file, and we'll conclude by discussing how to know when your data file is too large. So if you're ready to get started, let's move on to the next module.